welcome to another SAP Cloud Platform integration video. In this video we will learn how to use the success factors adapter, we explain it in three steps. First, I will show you three typical use cases for using the success factors adapter, a sending adapter, and a receiving adapter. Then I'll show you the supported message protocols. They differ for sender and receiver adapters. And after that I'll show you a special configuration possibility, which is the retry. Let's go to a cloud platform integration tenant. I already created a package, was an artifact, which is an integration flow, a very easy one. You can see already here, that there are three possibilities. On the left, we can see a sender, so we can create a sender adapter, for success factors. On the right, we see a receiver, we could also create a receiver adapter, for success factors. Let's choose the sender adapter using the arrow. As usual, you can see the different possibilities for adapter types in the pop-up, and one of them is success factors. Let's choose this one and in the next step you'll see the different message protocols supported for success factors sender adapter. There's REST and SOAP. Let's choose SOAP. In the properties, you see the general tab, and under tab processing you can see that you need the address and credentials as usual. Then you can, for example, choose a query with the select button. You can also define the page size. It means how many data rows shall be used in one batch. The default is 200. Let's now use the receiver channel, which has more options. If we connect the end event with the receiver as adapter type once again, we can choose success factors when we scroll down here. Now we have four possibilities to choose a message protocol, not only REST and SOAP, but also OData. OData version 2 or version 4. Let's choose OData version 4. In the properties, you see Transport Protocol HTTP and Message Protocol OData version 4. Under the Connection tab, again, you see Address and Credential Name. Under Tab Processing, you can see again the query possibility and no additional options. This will change when we go to the third use case. That use case is a receiver adapter too. It's called from a process step in the integration flow, which is named request reply. It's a specific step to get data. Here we use an external call from the canvas. Let's choose request reply and put it into the integration flow by putting it on the arrow. Now it's connected at once to the start and end event. Now we create an adapter by assigning the arrow to the receiver. Here again, by scrolling down we find success factors and the same message protocols available as before for the other success factors receiver adapter. Let's choose SOAP this time, because here we have to retry possibility. Let's stick into the different properties. The connection is the usual one, we see the address and credentials. Under the processing tab, we don't only see the query, but also below the check mark, for retry on connection failure will retry after one minute. This is very useful if you want to have a secure data exchange. We can see we had three options. We have seen a sender adapter and two receiver adapters for success factors. We have seen two different possibilities for the sender channel. For the receiver adapter, we saw four different message protocols and if we use it in conjunction with a request reply step, we also have the retry functionality. Now, I want to show you another pre-configured integration flow where we have already used the success factors adapter as receiver adapter in this more complex integration flow. Here is the request reply step. Let's go into the adapter channel. We see the address as usual. Below that, you can now see the query that has been chosen. The resource path is employee calendar. Remember, there was a select button when we were in edit mode in the other integration flow. If you choose that button, you get a long list with different possibilities, and one of them is the employee calendar. It gives data about vacation times and calendar information. The query option is built up like an SQL statement. You can see the from date and the to date and the user ID for whom we want to get data. 
these three fields become the WHERE clause of the SQL statement. We created variables for these fields up front using the content modifier step in the integration flow. Here in a query we are extracting the from date, to date and the user ID from those variables. I hope that this video gave you a good overview about three possibilities how to use the success factors adapter. That you understood that you also have the retry possibility which is not available for all the adapters in SAP Cloud Platform integration but a specific good use case for the success factors SOAP adapter. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.